that is huge and now i got a uh, error hello welcome to stress 3d printing this video we will be taking a look at Creality's new firmware updates for the K1 series. Let's get to this topic. Okay, so I just boot up my K1 Max and we got a new version. Let's go. It's kind of weird if you look at this. The current version is 1.3.3.8, right? And then the newest, latest version is 1.3.3.26. It went down the number. Okay, so let's look at this and see what we have for this new update. Compatible with Creality Print 5.0. All print files. Wait, Creality Print has a new update 5.0? <gasps> I'll be checking that out later. Nozzle PID tuning is now default to 220 degrees. Nice. Fix some UI translation. Optimize M141 command. Okay. Add camera start up fail prompt. Nice. So now if the camera fail, we will know. Lower the temperature of the nozzle during the homing sequence G28 to prevent leaking from the nozzle with certain materials when the nozzle probe the bed. That is huge. When the nozzle do the probing on the bed, if I remember correctly, I think it's around 150 or 155 degrees. Can't remember at the top of my head, but it's around that range. So we will test this out to see what is the temperature for the nozzle when it's homing for the G28. So let's go. Let's download this new version. I went to their 3D printer firmware, the flagship series, which is the K1 series. And if we look at this, right? The K1 here, it does not have the update. The latest one is 1.3.3.8, and that's in March. If we scroll down, the K1 Max here. If we look at this, it has the same version, but it also has this newer version, 1.3.3.26. And like I said, it's like a downgrade or something, but I don't know. <laughs> The numbers down, but they add new features. And that just updated today. As you can see right here, even the K1C down here, it doesn't have that update, which is odd, but uh, it was whatever, right? The K1 Max has a new update. So let's take a look at the description again so that we can see everything here. Compatible with Creative Print 5.0 print files, which is cool. 5.0 is coming very, very soon. And the new K2 is coming. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. The most interesting thing is number six. Some filament melt or leak at very low temperature. Like I said, I think it's around 155 or 150 during the probing sequence. So let's say the nozzle clean itself. It does a probing homing sequence and the nozzle is like around 120. So no filament is going to leak and you're going to have a better probing, a more accurate number, which is nice. Thank you, Max has done updating and now it's restarting. Okay, so while we wait for the K1 Max to do its update, I would like to take this moment to talk a little bit about what you need to do after you do the update. So Creality posts a post on Reddit saying that this is still in beta. So if you want to, you can download it. So if you don't want to download this version, you don't have to, but this is currently in the beta testing phase right now. And I love testing stuff. So I'm just gonna download it on my K1 Max. So they say that if you have Fluid or Mesa installed, it will not get rid of it, which is nice, but it will replace the configuration because they change some stuff in there like the G28. So if you want your old config, to be still intact you gotta make a copy and then if you want to use that you can copy that over to the new firmware instead of using the new config that Creality put into this new update and also if you did download this new version for your K1 Max you need to do a factory reset after it has updated you gotta redo the input shipping your bed leveling and all of those stuff that you usually do when you get a new 3d printer okay it has done update after the upgrade please recalibrate before start printing okay so we're gonna cancel that and now i got a uh, error <laughs> i already got an error key 3002 on no expectation okay okay i lie on creality's post that they put on reddit the new version is for the k1 k1 max and k1c but on their creality cloud webpage it only is affect the K1 Max as of right now. I think they're just testing this on the K1 Max. And then, after everything is good, they will put out to the K1 and the K1C series. I think, I don't know. Okay, why do I keep getting this error? <laughs> okay, so when I check on Orca Slicer, I get this. It says the helper script camera setting does not exist. And use the reset button once this is resolved. And if I go to configuration, everything has disappeared, the helper script has disappeared and I think I gotta reinstall that camp into the K1 Max but this is prone to happen 
if you um, update into this firmware. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try updating um, helper script using mobile exterm SSH and we will see if that helps. So please restart script load new version. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, so I got this updated and now I'm in the K1 series helper script. So let's see if that will fix the problem for my K1 Max. I updated the helper script and hopefully that works. Nope. Okay, so it uninstalled everything from the helper script here. So I don't know, I guess I will have to reinstall everything. And it looks like looks like the camera is uninstalled, so I'm gonna install that and see if it works. On Orca Slicer in this flow interface it says that um camera setting does not exist. Let's install camera which is 18. Yes. Okay, there we go. Let's see if that fixes it. Ah uh, yes, look at that. Useful macro.cfg does not exist. So what I'm gonna do is reinstall everything that I install before updating to the newest version from Creality and I'll be right back. So I reinstalled almost everything that I did install before rooting this K1 Max. So I got all of them back up right now except some of these because I don't really need them. I just get all the things that I needed and it's useful and what I have before installing the new version from Creality and it worked. Restart Fluid and it just worked. Perfectly look at this everything is intact everything is working perfectly right now But of course I still need to do my self check in push shaping and bed leveling But I keep getting this error moonraker warning bound from this thing whatever this thing is I keep getting this error and I don't know how to fix this I just left this as it is because it doesn't affect anything I think so and yeah it just gives you a warning so it still allows me to print and stuff like that so I just leave it I don't know if anybody know what this is please let me know in the comments down below I know that this is um depreciating but I can't fix it so it just I just leave that as it is okay so what I'm interested in is that what is the new temperature for the probing now I'm gonna do one test print not gonna print everything I'm just gonna see what the temperature is and then after that I will do my input shipping and Auto bed leveling on the kill max. Okay, I just started a print. It's just gonna send the file over and let's see. <gasps> Whoa, it dropped down to 115. Earlier it was 135. And now it's 115. Whoa, that is so nice. Okay, so the first portion here is 115. Before this update, it was 135. And let's see what the other temperature is for the start print. Okay, so yeah, like I said, it's 155 for the probing back there. For the nozzle probing back there, it is 155. It goes to 185. Then it lets out some of the filament so that it cleans the nozzle. For this probing phase, it's 115. It's not 135 anymore. That is what it's cleaning off and it looks like it's doing pretty well. Oh, and it's doing everything. <laughs> no, I should have saved my Gco macro. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Well, that's fine. Okay, well, I went through so many things in this video. Updated the new firmware for the K1 Max. Then I ran into the error. Then I need to install the helper script because it keeps giving me the 3002 error. That's just like a error number. It doesn't tell you anything. Luckily, we have Orca Slicer and we can get into Fluid so that we know exactly what is causing the problem, which is very nice. I'm not sure if you can see that from Creative Print. I don't, I did not try, but looks like Creative Print is going to have a new update. So we will be checking that out later in a future video. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel. Then I installed everything and now it's working again but it did get rid of all of the G code macro that I previously edited into the Killmax G code macro start print and I think it did mess around with other things or basically it's like a factory reset for the K1 Max right there so it's fine I can recalibrate everything very simply and I can just add those G code macro and edit the G code and bring the K1 Max back to its original state that I have before doing this update so if you are on the edge of like who should I update this for my K1 Max I would say if you want to explore new stuff, go ahead, do it. I don't know this 100%, but if you have not rooted your K1 Max and you have not installed helper script into your K1 Max, I don't think it will cause any problem. You just install, do a factory reset, do your input shaping, you do your auto bad leveling. I think it will work perfect. The reason why I got these errors is because files that I previously installed was not there. So it just gave me the error that I cannot find this file. So the machine cannot operate. And once I install everything, 
it works perfectly fine now. So what is this? Is this like useful? Is it not? For me, I think it is very useful. I feel like Creative is bringing stuff that you will usually get when you root your 3D printer and install camp and all the stuff like that so you can get access to files within the 3D printers that you can't without rooting your 3D printers. I feel like Creative is bringing features from a rooted 3D printer to a non-rooted 3D printers that people just don't want to mess around with anything. They just want to print stuff, they just want to use whatever the company gives to them. So like they are slowly bringing features over from rooted device to those people that don't want to root their device which is a plus for everything and yeah that would be it for this video of me upgrading to the newest firmware 1.3.3.26 and yeah if you enjoyed this kind of video leave a like comment down below what do you think about this new firmware did you run into any problem when updating this firmware or do you not want to update anything until it's like officially released stable let me know in the comments down below and as always keep on 3d printing